flows. Let your life be inspiration to you. The two words inspiration and creativity are connected to one another. If you are creative, you will be an inspiration to yourself and to others. If you are inspiration to yourself, you will be creative. An awakened one can hear the footsteps of time ahead. As a result, my effort is on many things that in the past no attention was paid or were neglected. Never follow anyone even an enlightened one. Be friend with the energy that surrounds him. Along with him, walk in rhythm like the army marching past in harmony. In Hindi, it is called Kadam Tal. The rhyming the tuning of the steps as the left step of the awakened one moves forward your left hand should also move forward along with him as he moves left foot forward your left foot should move forward and vice versa when you do this Something will begin to happen deep within you and that will be the source of inspiration to you. Creativity has to begin with one's own innerness. So too is inspiration. Inspiration is the fragrance of harmony within you. It begins with inner change. We want others to change, but we never want to change our inner. We never introspect on our inner waste that we go on throwing in the outer realm, the emotional, the verbal, the intellectual waste I'm talking about. We have learned, we have not learned the art of covering our inner waste into something beneficial and make the waste the best possible use. You have to watch your own garbage bin that you keep on filling on a day-to-day -day basis. Inspiration begins when you start the process of making your life a zero waste. Means whatsoever is coming out, just as we take example of kitchen, in kitchen, we have many things wasted. You can throw it in the garbage or you can put it to creative use. That creativity is the fragrance of inner inspiration. You can use the waste of the kitchen in making the organic natural manual. The two words organic and natural. Natural is far better than organic, but we only talk about organic products, not natural products. So you have to make your life a zero waste because whatsoever is coming out of you is used in the best possible manner, creative manner. Work on this as a, in a mission mode. 
mission mode means that is your mission. One who is creative, his life becomes environmental friendly. And one who is creative, his life becomes first an inspiration to himself and then inspiration to anyone that comes in his contact. Remember, inspiration has nothing to do with any particular activity, maybe painting, maybe poetry, maybe dancing, maybe singing. It has nothing to do with anything in particular. Anything can inspire you. Anything can be creative once it evolves out of your own inspiration. It must be creative. So inspiration is your intrinsic quality that you <coughs> that you bring to any activity that you do. First, you develop this. This is like the wiring the house with inspiration and then wherever you turn on the switch light is there so creativity is the light of the inner inspiration just like Activity in itself is neither creative nor uncreative. Your inspiration, which is your essence, gives the activity your fragrance of your fragrance of inspiration. Then whatsoever you do, it will be an act of creativity. You can paint in an uncreative, uninspired manner, purely guided by monetary gains. You can sing for monetary gains. You can clean the floor, simple act, in a creative manner, guided by your inner inspiration. You can cook as an inspiration from within, then your cooking will be a creative act. Inspiration is the quality that you bring to any activity that you are doing. And when you bring inspiration, inner inspiration into any activity that becomes creative, in the beginning, in the absence of inner harmony, you can get inspiration from anyone else, sentient or insentient. If you are connected to the energy field of an awakened one, his way of life can be inspiration to you. And out of that inspiration, when it begins to get roots within you, the flowers of creativity will blossom on the tree, the inner tree. Just like creativity is an attitude, an inner approach, how to look at the things. Behind that, inspiration must be there. Without inspiration, you cannot be creative. So the first thing to be remembered is, do not confine creativity to anything in particular. First, 
see that this seed of awakening is growing within you and when its roots goes deep within your life will become inspiration for you then you can be creative and if you are inspired from within whatsoever you do even if you walk you can see in his walking there is an inspired creativity even if he sits silently and does nothing even in non doing you will see inspired fragrance of creativity buddha sitting under the bodhi tree doing nothing is the greatest example of inspired creativity world has ever known once you understand this that it is you it is you become an embodiment of inspiration the person who is creative or uncreative then this problem disappears whatsoever you do let it be your joy your inspiration and you are doing it lovingly if your act of doing is not purely economical then it will be a manifestation of inspired creativity why do i talk to you all it is an inspiration that i have gained something in life i have been bestowed with certain essential elements i must share it with anyone who comes in contact not anyone in particular many people pass by the flower that blossoms gardener does the maintenance butterflies and the bees hum and gather around the flowers collect the nectar and convert it to the honey the purest form of transformation and butterflies <laughs> sit on a flower and carry the pollen from one flower to another to continue the process of pollination so let your life be like that like that of a bee that collects the nectar from one flower because the bees are brought up allowed to grow in a particular environment and that determines the quality of the net honey that comes out the honey that is coming out from a particular plant when the bees are hatched there is considered to be therapeutic so in the same way when like a bee you gather the the nectar from the pl- flowers and convert it into honey the nectar it is therapeutic and when like the butterfly you collect the pollen from one flower and carry it to the other carry it to the other flower and the process of pollination begins that is the role of the master he collects the pollen from one flower and carries it to another enough for now <laughs>